we run a purpose-driven project that is not only profitable, but you can see it is positively impacting the community, but also the planet. I'm Martin Tenua, a co-founder and CEO of Ant Organic Farm. At Ant Organic Farm, we turn organic waste resource into value. And we do this by using an incredible technology of using the black soldier fly, which converts food waste into fertilizer and animal protein feed. We started this concept to solve four biggest challenges our country, Uganda, faces. And one is uh, organic waste accumulation within the cities. You find there is a lot of uh, garbage that end up in the landfill. And second, we have uh, the feed crisis. Our farmers lack access to high quality feed, feed their livestock, and uh, also the lack of access to organic fertilizers as uh, most farmers rely more on uh, imported chemical fertilizers. And last, the last but very importantly, is the youth unemployment, which we want to fix by this concept. When you reach our breeding area, you find these precious insects, the black soldier flies, which do not bite, do not sting, but also they are not disease vectors. They are enclosed in different cages, and their purpose here is to provide us with eggs. According to the studies a few years ago, I think 2018 or 2019, we were generating as KCCA, KCC, Kampala, we were generating more than 2,000 tons a day. Tons a day. And KCC in partnership with the waste collectors, they agreed that KCCA would collect a thousand and the others would collect the remaining tonnage. But somehow, given the different challenges the institution faces, we were not collecting to even 80% a day. Where does that go? That's where Ant Organic Farm comes in, to utilize organic waste into valuable products. We receive organic waste at our facility and uh, we sort out the plastic, the metals, and of course we remain with pure organic. That remaining organic, we shred it into smaller particles and it is stored into the drums. For about three to four days, just a little bit of fermenting and it is able to be used as lava feed. We collect the eggs, scrap them off the woods, which we call eggies, and then weigh and introduce them in the starter feed substrate before they go into the hatchery. We expect the eggs to hatch in a duration of two to three days into baby larvae, but we give an additional two days for the baby larvae, and then we introduce it into the railing boxes. In the railing box, the young larvae now starts to feed on the organic waste for about eight to 10 days. At this point in time, the mature larvae are really loaded with uh, nutrients like protein, fatty acids, and these are good for your chicken, fish, and pigs. Yeah, the beauty is that the black soldier fly larvae is very high in protein, actually ranging between uh, 30 to 50 and uh, medium 40% crude protein. And apart from the high levels of crude protein content, the black soldier fly literature has it that the amino acid profile of the black soldier fly protein is quite very, very good, meaning it can support all forms of livestock, poultry, piggery, and even 
the, 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 the dairy or beef animals, fish and so on and so forth. When you look at the situation we're in economically, actually in our country, uh, the costs of fish are getting way abnormally unfriendly to our pockets as compared to that of the larvae. And that is following the returns that you're going to get after using the larvae. I know there are returns on the side of fish, but there are more returns that you're going to experience on the side of larvae besides the price itself, which is, you know, farmer friendly. We follow through a, a procedure of ration formulation. So you are able to include the amount or the quantities of the black soldier fly that can be able to produce a diet or a formula that can meet the needs of a specific animal. So if I'm formulating for broilers and the broilers need uh, maybe their chicks and they need 23 to 24 percent, I will formulate exactly that. And if I'm formulating for fish whose need is around 40 or I mean 30 to 40, then I'll formulate exactly that. While if I need something for a dry animal whose need is maybe 18 percent, then I'll formulate exactly that. We are currently employing 10 youth at our facility full time. Just imagine if we scale up this project, how many jobs shall we have created for my fellow younger people out there? We have gone further to introduce the outgrower system where we train youth, skill them, and provide them with a baby larvae to start growing the larvae. These youth can utilize the larvae on their poultry or fish, but also they can sell back the surplus to our farm. A friend of mine introduced me to Ento Organic Farm, where I went and learned more about the larvae rearing project. This project has changed my life in a way that on a daily basis, if I harvest per box, I always harvest per box 10,000. Meaning if you have something like five to 10 boxes, each box you harvest, you, you get an income of 10,000. And at times we get smelly environment, that environment being polluted with food, stuff, garbage. At the moment, we always go and collect it, come, sort it, keep it safe. That's why you've not even had any bad pollution, air pollution around here. We keep it clean. Meaning, my environment has gained more from this lavy project. My neighboring community, we no longer waste food around. We come and collect it from each household. This is something that uh, we used to uh, always realize when, when we come to Uganda, you have such a beautiful nature but then you have uh, like trash all over the place because there's no proper management system. I think uh, this program can also contribute in, in the terms of creating awareness for, for waste management. We have a dream of producing over 40 tons of insect protein per day but this needs resources like land where we can set up a huge facility to produce this protein but also the financial assistance to set up these facilities. We call upon all stakeholders, the government of Uganda, donors and investors to come and join us in this cause. Anything to do with reducing the litter, the smell, the odor, the nuisance, I don't know the right word, in the city is greatly supported. So, I cannot say we are going to put this amount of money, but I can assure you that the idea is going to scale up. Yeah, I mean, um, even with the little resources uh, they have, they put up such an amazing project already, and they are, they are also thinking about funding themselves, so they, they are trying to, to be economically sustainable. So if they get more funds, I believe uh, they can even increase this business in a, in a, in a proper way, and also people in, in Europe uh, who would be interested in, in, this, in this industry, they could benefit in funding that because the research Martin is doing might be even a few steps ahead of what, what's happening in, in Europe. KCCA is crediting, if not distincting, an organic farm for 
turning that waste into a resource and for empowering those youths to see that there is value in waste. Value is not only in the market, not only on the street, but also in the waste.